Uh, so let us solve one more question of uh, the 2014 paper. Basically, in every question paper, you have either increasing or decreasing order uh, of acidic strength, basic strength, boiling point, solubility. There will also be a question where you will be directly asked to write the name reaction. In the setting questions where you know you'll be asked to write the mechanisms remember that is the reason I'm giving you mechanisms in all the uh, concepts of my uh, lecture so be careful to practice the mechanisms so let us see this so they given write the mechanism of the following reaction correct yes they've given you an um, ethanol and they said in the presence of HBr, it's going to give you alkyl halide plus what? Already they've given you the mechanism, you, you already they've given you the reaction, you have to, you're supposed to write the mechanism. So let us see. So when such <coughs> thing is given, first basically, you are going to start your answer, right? Uh, what you will do is, you're going to start your answer stating that, first when you see, this say order of reactivity right so when i speak about the order of reactivity means basically they've given me a primary alcohol correct so order of reactivity for this is tertiary is more preferred than secondary more preferred than primary this is what we learned right so uh, the alcohol the alcohol tertiary alcohol more preferred than secondary than primary next important order of reactivity of alcohol groups this is your first Second, if I have to write order of reactivity of halogens, means which is highly preferred, right? So basically, your HI is more preferred than HBr, more preferred than HCl, yes, and HF is least preferred. Correct. Now, why did I write this order? Because I basically want to come into this concept where HBr is given to me. Right? Larger the size of the nucleophile, it's easy to go and substitute in that particular alcohol. Right. Now, what did they give me? <coughs> Here, you all remember, I hope you all remember, HI reactions, uh, we have done it with ether. Correct? So, I'll go to those reactions. And now, I'm doing with HBr. Now, basically, when I go with HBr, let us see the mechanism. First, step one. So, most important thing is we uh, remember when we have done SN1 and SN2 mechanism, right? So, when we took tertiary, we went into SN1 mechanism. Now, this is your primary alcohol, correct? So, this is your primary alcohol. So, this whole mechanism is going to undergo or follow SN2 mechanism, right? So, this once again tertiary will undergo SN1 mechanism and your primary or your methyl groups primary or methyl groups will undergo SN2 mechanism. Remember that you have already done the order for SN1 and SN2. Yes. So, this particular thing, your primary alcohol is undergoing SN2 mechanism. So, first step. So, what did I take? I have taken your <coughs> given alcohol. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Correct. Now, your HBr is going to attack. So, we very well know electronegative bromine and positive hydrogen. Yes. Now, Observe, <coughs> observe carefully this particular uh, bond, yeah, this lone pair of electron is shared with this. So, what happens now? You get CH3, CH2, yes. Now, this is shared, this lone pair and this becomes O, H and H. And there is a cleavage of the bond here. When there is a cleavage of the bond, this becomes carbocation CH3, CH2 plus plus water. Correct. Now, your bromine or the nucleophile is still there. This bromine is going to attack. So, what do I get? I get a product like CH3, CH2, Br plus your water. Just observe carefully. This is the product which I have got from here. This is also the same product. Fine. Yeah. Now observe again. So, <coughs> actually, in the uh, rate determining step, you will have both SN2 mechanism. Both should participate. At this particular point only, your bromine is going to attack here because we need both the incoming group and the leaving group at the same time. Right. So, your bromine is getting attacked here. Basically, I have to show it is a step. I have shown it separately. But bromine will attack this carbon and water is out. Both the molecules are participating in the rate determining step. Yes. So, finally, I get this is how you are going to write your mechanism. First, most important thing, when such mechanisms are given, first try to try to write the order. So, order tertiary is more preferred because of the stable carbocation. And this is the actual order. 
and you should also remember if tertiary is given to me it's going to follow sn1 mechanism if either methyl or primer is given to me it's going to follow sn2 mechanism right now according to the halogen order larger the size of the halogen atom it's easy for <coughs> that to go in and finally I have written the products like this. So, step one. So, please be careful in SN2 mechanism. Both the incoming group and the leaving group should be shown at the same time. So, I have shown it at the same time. But here to make it clear, I have just written it down. First, attack of the proton. Correct protonation. Then, so let me write this. This is protonation. Protonation. In the second step, this is your SN2 attack. And this is your final part. Thank you for watching.